<laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Great. Hey everyone, Chris Bonacci. Welcome on my channel. I have the fantastic, fabulous two dudes who are that pedal show. That is Mick Taylor and Dan Steinheim. Hello. He's fantastic and I'm fabulous. Is that it's, how it works? Well, yeah. I think both fit. <laughs> it's always nice to see you, Chris. Uh, thank you. Th really. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm just remembering. I, I, I've got a, a happy memory of the fan noise in the uh, Mark III. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I like to turn it off as soon as it's not played. I've had many, many Mark III's in my life. Well, I've had three Mark III's really? in my life. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I only have two. Yeah, I had a hardwood one. Oh. Really? Yeah. Hardwood and wicker. And then I had uh, a black combo and a black head. Wow. wow. I only had the second and the third. I had a black combo, yeah. which weighed like almost 40 kilos. Yeah. And I was like, okay, you have to go now. Yeah. And then I, I got hold of this oh one, no. which is, uh, do you know the Stripes, which is Stripe edition? Uh, yeah, the blue Stripe was the one to get, wasn't it, I think? Yeah. Yeah, it's I think one. my one of my black ones was, but my hardwood one wasn't, I think. Okay. I mean, it's not, um, I read about it, I'm not sure if it's exactly correct, but the blue Stripe had a lot to do with the 2C+. Plus, right. Like the tr Transformer okay. or something, yeah. one very close. I don't care. <laughs> it sounds care. really good. All right. So I had, I had, I used one once for a rehearsal. I was living in Manly Beach and I was rehearsing with uh, an artist, and I had to catch the ferry across to the rehearsal studio. So I got a a, a folding folding sack truck, you know, the little <laughs> sack trucks. And the sack truck broke before I got to the ferry. So I ended up having to lug this thing from Circular Key uh, up to the rehearsal studio, which was it wasn't you know it wasn't that far away. But oh my! Oh my! Word. God. Was it a combo? Yeah. So you it really was Manly Beach by that it time. Was, yeah. Oh man, it was it was wrecked Danley Beach. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, try to play right. Yeah, and I With just destroyed and arms. It, 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 yeah, and it was so not the right out for that gig anyway. <laughs> anyway. anyway. All right, so this is a casual chat uh, video, which Welcome. doesn't mean a lot. It's yeah. great, I feel casual. I have so many things in mind I want to ask, I don't even know where to start, so I will just uh, break all rules and just kick off with whatever comes. Cool. So, I like it. first thing is, that pedal show started three, four years ago? It's a good question. Uh, Around, I right? I don't even know. Yeah, maybe, what year is it now, 2019? 19. Mm -hmm. So maybe it was 2016? Yeah, which makes like Something three, like three to five years. Yeah, maybe somewhat. fifteen. Because it was a it was a transition at the beginning. It was a new art channel, right? Yep. And then you kind of realize probably, oh, this this, this is, is a thing of its this own. Is a thing. This is our yeah. thing. Let's let's yeah. split it. Was this a hard decision because you had some crazy videos on the Gigwork channel already? Was it? Um, no, because I was keen to separate keep it separate. Okay. Um, it's. Yeah, we. I'm. You know, I'm really conscious of trying. You know, we don't push anything on the show, and I'm definitely not going to push gig gig stuff on the show. It's not about that. All oh, right. It's about, mm. um, you know, it's 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 its own thing, and we're just talking about concepts and and stuff. And it became apparent quite quickly that no, this needs its own home. Okay. That's what it was. It it was growing so fast. We said it's basically now or never. Yeah. Yeah. So let's yeah. make the tra yeah. transition. We wanted separate branding. We wanted it to look and feel different. Yeah. Yeah. And it is different. You know, it's a separate oh, business. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the the real the the joke was that everyone assumed it was we were Andersons because we're all, we're all we're friends with the Andersons guys. Yeah. And everyone assumed it was like a room off the back of Andersons, <laughs> and some people still think that. So uh, really? it's like a hundred miles away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my Which God. in England is a long way. Well, yeah. here too. I mean, yeah, that's not something you wanna you know call yeah, your yeah. backyard. And they're great. We love those guys. <laughs> they're, they're great friends of ours, yeah, as, as you guys are. Yeah, so, um, yeah. But yeah, no, no, and then, it, then it yeah. just became its own thing. And you know what? I could imagine because you appeared on the yeah. Everton show yeah, yeah, for a yeah, time, yeah. for a couple mm. of months. Yeah, and Pete, I you know, Danish, them, Danish Pete's one of our best friends. Lee's one of our best friends. Yeah, yeah. So we, we're we're tight, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I have to. I've got to take my hat off to Lee and Rob Chapman for really showing us all that two guys talking on YouTube yeah. and having a laugh was the blueprint to great videos yeah and it was them wasn't it yeah, really? absolutely yeah, yeah. we have we have to you know chapeau oh absolutely yeah. everyone has chapeau. To, yeah, yeah. <laughs> chapeau chapman chapeau <laughs> and the capo yeah capo 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 i have to go up capo <laughs> you've seen our capes po. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen your capes. 
<laughs> we so should have brought them. Why didn't we bring them? Oh, you should have. Oh, oh you should have. Oh. So, if, if in you, case you're not familiar with this uh, <laughs> cape thing, um, someone mentioned, uh, I don't know, was it the pronunciation of there, Capo it was, it was Joey Landreth. Joey oh, Landreth okay. said, um, not all heroes wear cape poles. And, okay. then, we went, and then, then this light bulb goes off over here. Oh, and then before, next time we turned up the studio, we had denim capes. <laughs> With, with orange, orange cord in the, like liner. <laughs> my wife, honestly. my wife just she had the bit between her teeth, and she was like, right, went on the no, no, no. She went to a fabric shop in our local hometown, bought the fabric. <laughs> Did no she tell them what that meant? What she was yeah, doing? yeah, yeah. And then she went home, and she spent her whole Sunday. No way. Making, making capes. these capes, and they are Crazy. just. Fa I just the, we just want to bring the cape back. They need to go on the wall behind you. It's a practical. Clothing on, so <laughs> practical and stylish. Yeah, always in in style. <laughs> oh, crazy! I can't believe we didn't bring them. What idiots! It's about as practical yeah. as a necktie. Yeah, <laughs> if neckties exist, why can't capes? Yeah. <laughs> and, and Batman didn't wear a, a, a necktie. Is all no, I'm saying. It, well. There you go. said right from day one was we would never take any money from any manufacturer yeah. so yeah. you know quite rightly a lot of youtubers get paid by manufacturers to make videos because it's work. Is their way of living yeah and yeah. it's so work it's, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and the manufacturer is going to sell product yeah so it's it's fair pay for fair work mm -hmm. and I think guys like Pete Thorne um, uh, they handle it so well because it's still independent yeah it's still super professional it's still it's a great demo of the product, but it's their spin on it. So yeah. the way Pete thought, yeah. I don't I don't think anybody does demos better than Pete. No, Thorne. no, absolutely. He just Pete has actually just done a demo for me. Oh and, yeah, yeah. Oh, for the Wetter box. Yeah, 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 and it's. Uh, I love Pete. I do. Yeah. He's, he's so good. He is, for, as far yeah. He has an understanding. You hear everything in context. Right? And he's just, he's a heroic guitar player. Yeah, I yeah. just, I just think that world of him. He, always he just happens right to be things. one of the best guys yeah. ever yeah, yeah, as well. As well. Yeah, yeah. Like, but da Dan yeah. and I, um, for a couple of reasons. One, we would never be able to be organized enough <laughs> 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 to do anything officially. Two, some of our favorite stuff, Analog Man, um, I mean, you could list them off. Two Rock Amps, uh, Fender Custom Shop. Um, nice J, match the, stick, um, the th those those companies are never going to pay any YouTuber anywhere yeah, yeah, to ever yeah. demo anything. Yeah. Maybe because it's not in there, they don't need to, or maybe because it's just not part of their thing. But that's the stuff that Dan and I love. So we don't want to be. That's the stuff we use and that we love. So we want to be free on the show to be able to include whatever we want, yeah, yeah. yeah. whenever we want. And one the, one of the other things as well, we with that freedom we are quite um, we're both emotionally involved with sound and with guitar playing it, it, it affects us physically you, know, you we, can tell that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, but because you can tell that I remember there was I can't I can't remember what pedal it was but there was something and I went oh yeah no it's really good and someone goes oh my god he hates it <laughs> you know just because I you know I wasn't like oh not really emotional about okay. it you know? yeah. Yeah. Um, so you know, there's I think I know which video it was. I think it was our uh, Tom One video, the first video we did, or the second. Oh, uh, could have been. On a, a flanger. It right. was a flanger. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you were like, yeah, I, I like it. And it was like, oh, oh Dan yeah, doesn't like yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's like, <laughs> why are you saying this? <laughs> but the, the, other thing, the other thing we've done from day one, um, I, I'm slightly OCD. And coming from the, the magazine world where everything had to be <laughs> like kind of perfect yeah. first time, otherwise you have to reprint 50,000 magazines. Um, which we never had to do, but anyway, so you just get into this thing of it's got to be right first time and it needs to be of high quality wherever mm -hmm. possible. And there's loads of people out there making really high quality videos. But one thing we do is we play loud amps and we always mic them. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah. Uh, and we've we've spent a lot of time just improving and improving and improving, and that is a constant um, evolution. Where now we're going, you know, we run Apollo 8P, we run really nice mics, we've really thought about how the yeah. room sounds, yeah. Yeah. we work really hard on the audio, not not to fake it, but just so that it just sounds great straight yeah. out of the straight yeah. out of the mic. Yeah. But so now I'm going. What we need is four channels of uh, analog. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's this, oh my it's, god, it's this constant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's this constant evolution of being idiots. It's so point, cool. To <laughs> the, exactly. To the point it's idiotic, where but I we, love it. We get people. They comment and they say, "What do you guys do all day? I mean, <laughs> are you insane that you're just giving over your whole lives to this <laughs> pedal show?" Thing. And it is true. I, I, I kid you not. There are weeks where I, I probably do 80 hours of that pedal show work. That that happens yeah. in in some weeks. Crazy. Not not so much anymore because we've got some help now. But yeah, yeah. And and it's this compulsion. Mm. It's this compulsion to sound and feel it. You know. And that can be something as simple as we just did. We just did a video with Adam Neely. He played the uh, Bach cello concerto. I think it is on the bass and Dan and I are both in tears Crazy. he's just playing it through some a little tiny monitor. practice amp yeah. Yeah. and he's playing it from memory he can't really remember it he's not really putting his back into it but it is unbelievable with it tears streaming down our face listening to him play it and it can be that or it can be the stupidest wet dry wet rig you've yeah, ever heard yeah, yeah, with, yeah. A, with an echo wreck and a, and a tape <laughs> delay and, and so it's that it's, it, if it comes from here and mm. you mean it to, the long winded answer to your question is I think that connects with people. Yeah. yeah. Because music yeah. is about yeah. feeling, right? Yeah. yeah. I hope. Oh, absolutely. But absolutely. The, the other side of that is, it, yes, it connects with people, but there's that argument where people always say, well, the audience can't tell. It's like, well, it's not, it doesn't read, that's not the point. Well, screw those guys. <laughs> 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 screw you guys. <laughs> but if I'm like, you know, you'll see in those videos, you know, it, when I'm connected, I play differently. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. And, that's what I need. Yeah. That's for, yeah. for, for, to get the most out of me, to get any music flowing and stuff. I need to feel connected. Okay, how do we make that happen? Well, it just so happens that I now know, um, you know, really great amps with headroom. You know, really great. You know, analog delays and 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 great signal path. All that stuff is a really important factor in that. Yeah, and. When when it's not there, when we're not connected, we, you, you know, miss it. It. Yeah. you know, yeah. absolutely, and it's it's, it. it's it's immediate. So and and that's what we chase. Yeah. yeah, I have learned so much as well since we started doing it. You know, bearing in mind, I edited one of the world's best guitar magazines, if not the world's best guitar magazine. Yeah. And I was editor of that for a long time, so I knew a little bit about guitars well, and about quite stuff. A bit. Yeah, yeah, but you know, your, your knowledge—the knowledge is infinite, and you're you're always at this part part on the curve. So even having done that for all those years, the stuff that I've learned since we've done that pedal show mm. is colossal, and it keeps yeah. growing. And I think if the the day we stop being hungry for that, yeah, and the day we stop discovering and wanting to learn, is you know, that's the day that it's all over. And bear in mind that Dan and I largely aren't pretty much interested in anything after about <laughs> 1964. So, I mean, it's, it's not quite true. But, you know, we are, we are, yeah, yeah. we're in the analog world. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, we sort of tentatively engaging with digital stuff. But um, I, I think that's also the romantic of your channel. Yeah. Because you are hunting and, um, in many cases, succeeding to, to achieve that what we are all dreaming about guitar players, mm, you know. That's interesting. Like you, you really don't have very often the chance yeah. to crank your amp. So many guitar players are dreaming of having this kind of opportunity because they also want this. Yeah. Like deep inside. They are playing maybe a, a line six board yeah. or, or playing through an aux, which is already luxury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still this is I, not I, at all. I same. think that can upset some people as well, because Dan and I are so stoic about it and Sometimes people quite rightly feel, well, you know, it's all right for you guys. You've got your own studio, you can yeah. bank it up. And we're like, yeah. well, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You know so what? we do. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know and what? Because, I can... because that's how much I care about it. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know. yeah. yeah, but as soon as you stop being the yeah. way you are, yeah. Yeah. the show will not be authentic anymore. But at the, you know, on the flip side of that, you go and do a gig somewhere and the, and the sound engineer tells you you're too loud and you need a smaller. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we all have to cope with that stuff, but I don't want that to be. 
I don't want that to be my whole world. I, I yeah. want it to be the thing that is that, that we compromise for. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And still have the you know have the fun. What's well, incredible? For example, this is a, a bit of a different um, turn now, but uh, we were recording with um, Warren yeah. from uh, Produce Like a Pro in a mansion in the hotel where the guys yeah. are staying, and uh, we had this huge stairway, and they re they recorded drums first, and then we grabbed uh, just a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, a simple amp. We cranked it, plugged in my telly, and Warren played. Warren is a very good He's player. A good player I was surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really tasty and almost like jazzy. Still really, really nice to listen to. And um, and he cranked that amp, and this was the first time I enjoyed that amp that much. Yeah. Wow. Because of the room, yeah, because of the volume, because it was fitting. The volume and the amp was fitting the room, mm -hmm. the surrounding, yeah. and also uh, he played the, the game channel. I mean, I don't think there are many people who, who are in love with the distortion yeah. channel on the on the hot rod. I don't like it very much. I like it for certain things, but I would not. I would use a pedal instead. Yeah. But there, it was instant, yeah. like Joe Bonamassa, nasty, wow. cranked, crazy sound. I was like, what is going on here? So, so mad. Nice. So mad. You mentioned Bonamassa. I I was interviewing him once, and he had a hot rod, uh, Deville, I think it was, and he had he had one of his fifty nines there. And I, I, I sort of apologetically offered it to him and said, "Sorry, Joe, this is all we could find." Yeah, you know, because he's used to dumbles and tweeds and yeah. stuff like that. You know, I love the Hot Rod Deville. I'm very happy whenever there is one. Yeah. You know, provided yeah. it's a fantastic amp. And he's like, "Oh no, no, no great!" Plugs straight into the game channel, uh, sets it, sets it, sets it, starts playing his fifty nine, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "What?" Have you mysteriously put another amp and speaker in there while I've yeah, been? Yeah. And he's like, no, 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 it's simple. He said, and he's he's got the game dial around quite a lot. Got it turned up. Got the reverb cranked. Loads of presence. Everything. But he's got he's on his there's Paul. He's just got the volume down to like eight, and the tone down rolled down a bit, and it just sounds, it sounds wow. like Beano era Clapton. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, it was Crazy. it was phenomenal. Sorry, a bit of a tangent. No, we're, no, we're, please. We're very well known for our tangents. Well, you're very welcome to <laughs> to do so. <laughs> yeah. So, but but I, I love what you were saying there about, you know, the 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 amp filling Wake up. <laughs> filling the space. Yeah. Yeah. And that sense of space. It's so interesting how different amps sound. Sorry, I just got a text message from Andy Timmons. Did you? <laughs> <No way. laughs> wait, ah! wait a honk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mate, that wait, was awesome. wait, let me give you something you can drop. <laughs> there you yeah. go, drop it. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs>case in point is so the reason that for anyone who doesn't know the reason that Andy Timmons is texting Dan is a is because he's his friend but B because Dan puts rigs together for some of the best players on the planet he does and we're lucky enough to benefit from that those relationships in terms of having access to the thought processes mm -hmm. getting to hang out with these guys and understand what makes them tick and that Dan's been doing a lot longer than me uh, and I think it genuinely rubs off because you, when you're around these zero compromise guys, yeah. They're, yeah. they're just no compromise, yeah. and they are art. Yeah. They're yeah. artists, Absolutely. and it rubs off. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying that me and him are artists in that way, but the inspiration of it rubs off. That you have a higher aspiration, yeah, yeah. and that no compromise attitude becomes all important because that it's the amazing thing about knowing these guys. You know. Growing up, you'd have your, you know, your heroes, and they. The, the great thing about the internet is, a lot of those imagined barriers have now sort of been dismantled. Yeah. yeah. You see that these guys, they're not. They're special, but they're not different from anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but they're special in the sense that, they have a vision, and, they don't. They're not compromising on that. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And they see it so clearly. It's like, no, this is this is what I'm going for. Yeah. And the sacrifices they make to achieve that, you know, and it's it's like, yeah, 
it's it is so inspiring. Yeah. You know, and so Mick and I are just we're on that trip. It's like we're, we're going to make this the best it can be because that's what we love. Yeah. You know, the loud guitars, um, valve amps. 50s Echo Rex. Yeah. You know, we play in a band and we both we have wet dry rigs, you know, we're, and we're bringing a bunch of guitars and there's massive pedal boards to the gig and the guys that turn up to the gig are always, they're very complimentary about the guitar sounds. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, I guess. <laughs> and we don't, we don't even mic the cabs. Really? It's all the, it's, yeah, it depends on the gig. But, on, okay. Yeah, yeah like, but generally. Is that two yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you yeah, just yeah. crank it. Yeah. And it, so we just oh. mix it on stage, and it's it's wonderful, right? Wow. So this is how it used to be. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like it's, watching it's, a bar band 25 years yeah. ago. There you go. But yeah. you can hear the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> Big difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, when I, you know, I'm not going to, I'm very happy to bring gear to a gig, you know. I, I'm not the guy that says, yeah, but I can, I've got um, 1,400 <laughs> amplifiers and all the effects in the world, and, and I can fit in my back yeah, pocket, yeah, yeah. Like, which is great, and it's appropriate for some people. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I have a 1961 AC30. And I'll bring it. And, yeah. that's, that and is, I'm not afraid to use it. You, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, a, I've, th these are tones that I've, I, c I connect with, and, and sometimes it, you know, it does feel that the digital thing can... Because feels like it can be compromised in certain areas. Is there a certain thing sound-wise where you what, what you always hear with digital effects? Me, two things for me. Um, is it the detail? Is it like frequencies or? So I've been I, as we opened up there. I immediately stepped on your Supro harmonic tremolo. Yeah, yeah. Absolute favorite pedal of mine. I love the thing. I think it sounds fantastic. And I've been trying a few others just recently, digital emulations of harmonic tremolo, because some of them have got reverb built in, you know, so it's kind of more use, useful and utility, yeah, yeah. Um, and some others. And I, I distinctly remember my first, I got a, a Line 6 M5, and I thought, right, this is great, because this can replace a load of modulation and a load mm -hmm. of stuff. And all those, you know, I only need it for half a song a set or whatever. And I stuck it on there, and I could not explain it. I couldn't explain why it just didn't work and why I was disconnected. <laughs> and then I, I felt the same thing when I'm trying these digital versions of that. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's an AD conversion thing. There is something in the high end that I always hear, because as you know, if you if you AD convert, there there's a certain frequency at which it tops out. Um, and you have to kind of control that because there's noise above that. So they oh yeah, because of the noise they have to. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So then mm -hmm. you have to put it back. You have to fix it. It's something that's broken that you have to fix. Yeah. yeah. And the fix is good, and it can be exceptional, but mm. it's never the same. But it's better not yeah. to. Have and it. and yeah. I, I'm real careful not to say better or worse, but it's not the same. Mm. Yeah. Um, so utility, absolutely. Uh, would you hear it on a record? Um, I think you can, <laughs> but mm. a lot of people would argue that you can't, and I think you can. Um, and so it's just that, and I don't know whether it's just 20 years of playing, because of course the other thing is, people go, well I can't hear a difference. It's like, well yeah, you're playing at 6 watts, yeah. through, you know, whatever amp in a, in a small room. Let, yeah. me, let me take that and get it, at, at, turn my 2 rock up. Yeah, yeah. Where Plug it in. every single microtonal angle change of this plectrum on that string comes through loud and clear. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's when I hear it. Yeah. So it's... Yeah. I don't think I could define it, and I bet if you sat me in a live, in a blind test, um, you know, in a room, I'd struggle to tell, I would probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Yeah, yeah. But stick me, ask me to play something musically with inspiration in a band context, and I'll tell you every time. Yeah. That's kind of... Yeah. 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 yeah That's yeah. a giveaway always. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The only thing I'm, sh I'm struggling with, um, I'm always sticking to analog stuff, as you can tell mm. right behind me, mm. but... Um, but Tape delays yeah. are my favorite effects of all time. Yeah. yeah. Well, I so and, I and use. I, I do you know, use. You cannot uh, really use a real tape delay in your board. No, no, wow. no. So I or, use. Well, I use, oh, okay. Here it comes. He does. I use. I use. <laughs> really? But Chris, I oh. use the Catlin bread belly pork deluxe. Yeah. And I use um, the the Echo one. Yeah. Mm, and yeah. I've got you know a vent which is a rotary speaker, 
simulator. So I use digital, all that's all digital yeah. Yeah. because I can't carry a Leslie. Yeah. I, I don't I don't actually own one. <laughs> and and Dan will tell a story about a tape echo. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a real tape echo in your board? So we did a the Volante show uh, oh. a few months back. Mm-hmm. And we have a uh, Roland RE201 magic bit of gear and I have a baby echo rack as well. And you know, and these are the, the things that the Volante is, is emulating and it does and it's the Volante is magic. It's right? really I would it's, have a Volante. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's it's wonderful. I have to try. Wonderful. Just magic Never exceptional. Heard of wow. However <laughs> <laughs> But we were had the tape machine going and you hear the tape you know and the echo right and it's noisy and everything but hearing the the repeats from the tape and the magic just started to happen and I was so carried away with the sound of the thing and I said that's it I'm, I'm now using a tape to lay out every gig and wow. and I I have it <laughs> Why are you left? I have it on a separate Volume pedal, and it's actually used. I actually use the tape to lay on my dry amp, and really? I just bring in a little bit of tape echo every now and then into the dry amp to okay. sit with the wet, right? Okay. And it is just. I can't. I cannot get the sound from anything else but real tape. Crazy. But it's, it broke down. But it. So we did. <laughs> uh, did the first kick with it. Happens, first yeah. kick with it. It was. It was. Just magic beyond words. Second gig, Sorry, did the sound check, yep, oh, it's so great, 10 minutes before we go on, <laughs> tape delay, busted. Um, so that is the price you pay, yeah. you know, yeah. like I said, I'm not, I'm not bothered about carrying gear, and there's a thing that happens with the tape that's as great as all these other things are. See, Mick... Mick does use delay, but delay is a really massive part yeah. of what I do because I love textures and big chords. And a majority of the time, I'm creating textures underneath. You know, when Mick's doing his thing, because there's a the two rock and there's got this projection that's so clear, and it's just made for Mick to do his thing. It's oh, it's magic. I have to hear it on me. Um, but what I need is to have a big wall of lushness underneath yeah. which Mick does his thing, and delay is a big part of that. Oh yeah. Um, so, you know, we both have analog band ARDX20 delays on our board and, you know, they're great and I'm, uh, blending and parallel delays and things at the moment and adding in the, the, the tape delays and stuff. So it just, because, and also because there's a wet dry thing, it's a massive sound. So Mick is sort of free to do what he does over this, it's this lovely warm, textural thing it's colossal yeah. I mean there, there's plenty of people doing things that are more complex you know with uh, multiple patch changes yeah. and MIDI switching yeah. and all that there's, there's, you know that's largely normal with a lot of mm. with a lot of people these days but for us it's more of a kind of on the fly thing as you go yeah you still have chance to twist every knob yeah, yeah. you can just turn it off or on or yeah. change the mix or whatever that yeah and I, you I'm can't doing, do it with, with a preset I'm doing that constantly yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, that particular um, venue or that particular situation you're in, it sounds a bit too loud, yep. or it's not quite compressed enough, or it's too compressed, or it's not quite loud enough. No. Or there's too much moisture in the air. I mean, yeah. seriously, and all those little things yeah. affect the way that we hear and the way that we we're proceed, interacting, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So having the knobs in front of us, we go, actually, I just need a tad more top end in yeah. the tube screen, but I'm going to turn down the, the wet level, Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, and then but you know back to your question earlier, does the audience perceive it? I don't know. I think they perceive when the the musician is playing and is connected. Yeah. Exactly. So that's yeah. what they exactly. perceive. They yeah. don't know exactly. that the tone's any different. They know that the, yeah. that the performance is good. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah. I've been asked the same question also. Like, dude, why do you care? Why do you take like I don't know stuff worth I don't know ten thousand euros or more something you know with you to a gig? It's like. I don't really care if they care because yeah. I want to feel right. Yeah, yeah. And if I feel like I want to feel myself on stage, I know I will, you know, yeah. reach people. But that, if, <laughs> if anyone asks me that question, I say, why do you pick your kid up from school? He's got legs, he can walk home, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
And he's like, well, I care about my kid. I want my kid to be safe. I'm like, I care about my guitar tone. Don't you get that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it is, it's, it's a funny comparison, but it, it's just, the same thing. You, you know, don't care about let the sound man worry about my guitar sound. He doesn't care about my guitar sound yeah. at all. Yeah. We were, we were out last night and for this really cool little uh, 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 soda cocktail, bar, soda bar, uh, soda bar in, in um, I think it's on Langstrasse or somewhere in uh, Benidorm. In Bamberg. In Bamberg? Bamberg. Are you wearing Bamberg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's mm -hmm. a great little cocktail bar. Really, really cool. And we were and just sat there and just for, uh, just a couple of hours just talking and stuff. And then I realised this is what we do on the show. We, do, we were just talking about gear. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we will we'll, 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 we'll film. Yeah, we we'll should record it. Yeah. Call, we'll call... I'll call Mick on the way home and end up talking about gear. <laughs> yeah, for again. another hour. For another hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we are all unhealable. Yeah. Is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's, no chance. It's a great kind of pain though, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment. If you have any questions, maybe I can answer them. And um, all the good stuff. Hit the bell, otherwise you will not get informed if a new video comes out. And the subscribe button also. Do not forget to check out that pedal show. It's it's gold. I love <laughs> Cheers, it. It's, you, it's, thank you. it's art on YouTube, really. Uh, I think that's one of those few channels. So um, make sure to check it out. Thank, cool. thank you guys. See you guys. See you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Cheers.